Whenever I hand my students their bow, or when we're working on a bow hold, I like to start with the bow upside down. It's much more balanced and easy to hold this way. I'm going to take a curved thumb, a bent thumb, and I'm going to put it right inside this little crease here against the frog. Not inside, but against the frog. And I'm going to wrap around my second finger and find that all-important ring that we had before. I'll let my bow just sit gently on my first finger between the first and second joints in the first finger. Wrap around third finger, let pinky gently sit on the bottom. So with this bow hold, the Franco-Belgian bow hold, you'll feel most of the bow weight on first finger. As we slowly rotate the bow, you'll start to feel more of the weight of the bow on your pinky and maybe a little bit on your thumb as well. Let's rotate it back and you feel it more on your first finger. and forwards. More of the weight is on your pinky and thumb. This windshield wiper exercise is a great way to test the balance of your bow hold. Here's what the bow hold looks like from this side. And when I turn over, like I'm ready to play, I want to be able to face my wrist towards my nose. Not this way. Here. With my wrist towards my nose.